Hi, my name is Emma Khanna and I help property investors become property developers even if they've got no experience. But it's nothing like you've ever seen before. People come to me because they want to turbocharge their property investment journey. They don't want to wait around and they want the highest return possible on their money. By the way, if you want to learn more, all you have to do is go to pdsblueprint.com. And even though they are just starting out with a small amount of equity or cash, or they've got one or more investment properties, and they are really dedicated to achieving the results, they can't seem to get off the ground or take the next step forward because they lack confidence in themselves. And nine out of 10 times, that confidence is because they lack either the knowledge or they haven't got the right tools to be able to get that confidence. Or they've already got the debt from their previous non-performing investments and they can't move forward, or they don't like the return that they are getting right now. And they tell me that this makes them feel frustrated, inundated, and sometimes even cheated, especially if they've already been to expensive seminars and have nothing to show for it. And if this sounds similar to you, you're not alone. Let me assure you, all this is very normal. I have gone through this, lots of other people go through this when they are starting out. I can totally understand because I have been in your shoes. How can you not feel overwhelmed? There are so many things to understand and the cost of making a mistake is very high. Anyone would get nervous. Is my feasibility correct? Did I time my investment right? Do I have enough money to cover the project? Have I covered all the costs? And just when you thought that the recent seminar gave you everything that you needed, you find yourself lost and frozen because you can't take the next step. The lack of knowledge, uncertainty, and the cost of making a mistake can freeze anyone. By the way, if you want to learn more, all you have to do is go to pdsblueprint.com. That's pdsblueprint.com. And if all this sounds familiar, I get it. Here's what I tell them. And this is especially true for the people who are just starting out as well as seasoned property investors. Because every decision you make must be backed by numbers and market research to justify your actions. First things first, as a seasoned property investor, you want to make sure that you control the property as long as possible with the least amount of your own money as possible. And the best part is that anyone can do this and anyone can learn this. And the coolest thing is that you get to maximize your upside and minimize your investment at the same time. To learn more, visit pdsblueprint.com. Wait, 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 don't get confused. Let me explain. This is a 36 month project timeline. Here's how you would go about your entire development process. Now, this timeline is only used as an example based on averages for a standard townhouse development. The timelines can vary for every project, but all I wanna do here is show you the best way, but make sure you watch till the end because there's a twist. Let's say you sign the contract of sale in month one and you are required to settle or fulfill your contract in three months time. You then start adding value by preparing your town planning application for lodgement, which takes about three months for, from settlement. Once the town planning application is lodged at the end of six months, uh, the council then takes approximately nine months to process your application before granting you a permit also known as DA or development approval. Now, let's say when you bought the site as is without a permit, your land value was sitting where you see the green line. However, now that you have added value to the land, post permit or post DA, you've got an uplift in your land value. Your next phase is getting your town planning drawings endorsed. Drawing endorsement is basically reflecting all the town planning conditions that came with your permit on your town planning drawings and getting them stamped by council. Once you've got endorsed drawings, you can commence your marketing for pre-sales, organize finance and start preparing your working drawings, which again can take up to another three months. Post which you will apply for a building permit and satisfy the building surveyor. Then you commence construction. For the sake of keeping things simple, I have allowed nine months for construction. Post construction, you allow another three months for your pre-sales to settle and pay you the well-deserved profit for all the hard work you've already done. And that's when the project is completed. But here's the thing. The moment you settle on the land, it triggers two things, need for finance and serviceability and your need for developers equity or cash injection, as well as the need to be able to service the monthly installments or land holding costs. But here's a twist, because that's not how I work. And that's certainly not how I teach my students to go about it either, because we want to make sure that we control the property as long as possible with the least amount of your own money as possible. By the way, if you want to learn more, simply visit pdsblueprint.com. Here is what I do with every development. I delay the settlement as far out as possible or closer to obtaining the planning permit as possible. In this example, I don't settle until I am close to getting a permit or have already obtained one. Let's look at both scenarios side by side. Land holding costs in my model are less than half of what you would have had to pay if you had followed the norm. Another thing that you cannot see in this model is that I don't have to inject my any of my equity until later in the project and I don't have to bear any holding costs. Here's another thing to know. There are two exit points for you to get out of the project should you choose to. You can exit just before settlement 
or you can flip or on sell the project after adding value that is after you've obtained a permit now if you can manage to obtain a permit before you can settle on the land bonus points to you because all this project probably ended up costing you is the cost of getting the town planning permit and that's how you have maximized the upside as the value of the land has now gone up i'm sure quite a few of you are going yes you can do this but i can't do this stick with me because i'm going to prove you wrong but for those who already know what they're doing or they're interested in learning more all they have to do is go to pdsblueprint.com now for the ones who think that they can't do this let me throw you off a bit now how many of you can replicate this image of brad pitt with a pencil and a piece of paper i don't think many of you would say yes to that but i'm going to show you how to do this and in doing so i'll give you the skills to become a world-class artist but before i do that how many of you think that you can replicate a solid piece of gray square everyone yes now if you would agree if you can make one gray square, you can actually make two, three, nine gray squares, correct? Yes. And you can keep making more gray squares and more and more, even more and keep going. And we keep making gray squares, keep going. And that's our end result. The truth of the matter is that if you can make one gray square, it would be very difficult to argue that you couldn't make every gray square necessary to replicate the image in its entirety. And there you have it. Apart from teaching you about becoming a property developer, I just gave you the skills necessary to become a world-class artist. In fact, Stephen Dunier um, in his TED talk, which is where I got this example from, talks about an artist by the name of Chuck Close, who, in the who is a world-class artist, and he creates his art using this exact same technique. The point that I'm trying to make here is that if you can take one step towards your goal, one step in front of another, you can achieve any goal. You can overcome any obstacle and you can solve any problem. Just one step at a time and anyone can do it. That's the way I teach property development. Simple to learn, easy to understand, and anyone can do it. That's why I call it the property development system. So as you can tell, there are only three main things that you need to learn. You need to be able to negotiate a longer settlement, add value, and then flick or develop towards the end. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get frustrated. One gray square at a time. If you like what we talked about today, hit the like button. I sure would appreciate it. If you want me to help you learn, implement, and execute these strategies, just go to pdsblueprint.com. I'll see you next time.